everyone. Today we're going to make something that I get questions about a lot, and that is chicken alfredo. Now, if you haven't already tried my simple method here, then I, I challenge you to give it a try because not only is it simple, honey, it is delicious. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we have our simple ingredients. Here is my uh, chicken that I cut up and seasoned with my blackened seasoning and a few other seasonings. We have some our water boiling with our chicken bouillon. We have our noodles, and we have our fresh mushrooms, heavy whipping cream, fresh spinach, of course the butter, and we have our fresh uh, Parmesan cheese, okay? So whatever ingredients that you wanna use, use them, whatever you wanna omit, go ahead and do so. All right, now once my water start boiling for my noodles, which I'm gonna go ahead and add those in, that's when I like to go ahead and start my chicken because everything is gonna take about the same amount of time to get done, right? So I'm not gonna add any oil to the pan because I tossed my chicken in some oil along with my seasoning, so it already has oil, plenty of oil. And I'm just gonna cook this until it's done first. And you only need to cook your chicken about eight to 10 minutes, especially if you have it cut, you know, small like this. All right, once my chicken is almost done, I'm going to add in my mushrooms. And I'm going to saute them in with my chicken, or cook them in with my chicken, rather, so that they can also get some of that flavor. But if you like, you can just take your chicken out and then saute your mushrooms by themselves. All right. Once you're uh, satisfied with the texture and the doneness, go ahead and remove your meat and your vegetables from the skillet. All right, now in that same skillet, go ahead and add in a little butter because now we're about to make our sauce. And as it's melting down, go ahead and add in your heavy whipping cream. And you just wanna turn your temperature down a little bit. You don't want it to be you want it about on a medium low because you don't want it to be boiling. Now we're going to add in, I always add in a little more butter. <laughs> and I'm going to add in my cheese. And I'm going to just let this cook down for just a little bit. Now when I'm making my sauce, I like to let it, you know, just cook on a low heat because we're allowing the cheese to melt. It's going to thicken up your sauce. I'm going to add a little bit more of my blackening seasoning. You don't need much of that. Uh, add in butter at your own discretion. Some people are going to have a lot. I like buttery. Some people can't. So you just add that in as you like. And once this um, the cheese melts, then we're going to add in our uh, spinach. We'll allow that to cook. Put the top on it. Allow it to cook. And then we'll be ready to eat. <laughs> All right, so I just want to show you all the sauce, the creaminess of our sauce. And if you want it thicker, you can definitely go thicker. Our cheese is still melting down there. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and add in the spinach. And what I'm going to do is stir it in, put the top on it, let that cook down. And honey, in about five minutes, we'll be ready to get our pasta together and serve up some food. And there is the chicken and the mushrooms. All right, it's done, y'all. It's nice and creamy, and it's ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a plate. All right, y'all, so I have my noodles here. All I do is drain my noodles and then toss them with a little oil, and it keeps them nice and ready for me when I'm ready to serve. That's enough for you, Lee? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and add our meat. Now you can mix your meat and your stuff inside of your sauce. That's totally up to you how you decide to do your, your sauce. So now let's get us some sauce. Just gonna put that on top like that. So what do you all think? And it literally takes about, I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of my blackening seasoning on top. And my daughter Aaliyah is gonna try it for you all. It takes about 30 minutes to make this. It's a real quick, easy meal. 
and that's what the kids wanted for lunch. And don't uh, forget, you could also, if you don't like the blackening seasoning, of course, you know you're going to season your meat how you like. Are you ready, Leah? Mm, this looks delicious. It does look delicious. It smells good, too. Mm. You like it? Very delicious. <laughs> I was waiting for this. <laughs> As y'all probably know, uh, Alfredo is one of my kids' favorites. That's why I've made it on live like three times, but mm. I didn't have a video for it. So I wanted to uh, make that for those who had been asking. So I hope this helps. Substitute your meat for whatever you want, shrimp or whatever, turkey. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and you have a wonderful, blessed day.